Welcome to the brand new channel of Wanderlust Heart Media. On this channel, I'll be reviewing hotel and resorts, in particular with Club Wyndham, as owners, as well as sprinkling in a variety of different adventurous experiences as they pop up. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into our very first review of Club Wyndham Fairfield Glades in Crossville, Tennessee. After two years of not being able to travel due to COVID, we we're finally able to cross the border and utilize our Wyndham ownership and check out a brand new resort that we have not been to yet called Club Wyndham Fairfield Glades. One of the main reasons why we checked out this resort was because of the outdoor amenities that they have offered. They had some of the best golf courses in the area of Tennessee, pickleball courts, hiking and biking trails, outdoor paved paths, indoor and outdoor pools, saunas, hot tubs, including an indoor golf simulator by TrackMan. Now I have to admit prior to arrival, I was so excited about this racket center that they had. However, once I found out that they were pretty pricey per hour to use, we did start to scope out the area and try and find some free courts that were very good quality, that were either behind our units in particular with pickleball courts, or go right to the Druid Hills golf course, three minutes down the road by car, which they had two beautiful tennis courts that you can use for free anytime that you want. In relation to the tennis and pickleball courts, as well as the marina and golf courses, there's a brochure linked below that you can download to your computer. It'll give you all the phone numbers you need. The one strange thing I found out about this was that in relation to other resorts, they do have a lot of free courts right at the resort to use. So this was a little bit of a bummer. However, they had a lot of other outdoor amenities that you could use for free, like a lot of the hiking and biking trails. So the paved paths were absolutely beautiful because it takes you right from your unit to the wellness centers, fitness centers, which were beautiful in itself because the wellness center and the fitness facilities were right beside each other. One was actually attached to a hospital um, and was used as a rehab center. So that's why they had a top tier weight facility that you don't usually see at other Wyndham resorts. Now these bike paths not only took you to these fitness facilities, but you can even bike to town to get your groceries or you can go all the way to Druid Hills. I'd say maybe about a 10, 15 minute bike depending on the level of your biking skills. So the Druid Hills golf course not only offers the tennis course, but nearby they have one of the outdoor pools as well as access to a shuffleboard and a beautiful mini putt course. That was very cool if you have a family you want to spend an afternoon. It looked like a lot of fun. So aside from the paved biking trails, they had a lot of hiking and other biking trails in the area. I'm going to put a link to the All Trails app um, and website down below. That app and website will give you access to several trails that you can just type in Crossville, Tennessee, and it'll tell you all the different difficulties and lengths and whether they're bike friendly or not. And as well, if you're on these trails, you can just pull it right up on your phone and it'll tell you where exactly on that map you are. So if you manage to get yourself lost, you can definitely find your way back. We ended up hiking one trail nearby our Stonehenge units. Uh, we did 15 minutes out, 15 min minutes back. I wasn't very smart with wearing shorts and flip flops because I did find two ticks on me later on that day as well as a couple on the dog. So I would recommend getting some deep woods with some DEET on it. There's a link below to that DEET spray, deep woods I was talking about. You can pick that up at Acadian Tire, or Walmart, or even just order it right off of Amazon. So that's always good to soak yourself in that before going out. Wear long pants, socks, and closed toed shoes. There's also another link in there that tells you a lot about ticks and also the risk of Lyme disease. So please be aware of that before you go hiking and just keep yourself safe as well as your dogs. Moving on to the units themselves, we were actually at five different units throughout the two week stay. We started at a two bedroom deluxe at the Stonehenge units. These were very cabin style, very similar to the Oak Knoll ones that we stayed in later on. So they had your full kitchen, living room, two beds, um, two baths minimum, or else if you were in a one bedroom suite, same thing. Uh, you had all the utensils and anything that you would find in the kitchen and you don't need to bring those with you as if you were camping. Anyway, so we did have a blast at these other units. 
However, our most favorite was the four bedroom presidential. Each bedroom had its own bathroom except for one of them um, by the foyer. The kitchen was beautiful and spacious. The living area and dining room was very beautiful and spacious. However, some of the negatives that we did find about this unit in particular was a lot of the things that were broken. We found patio furniture was broken. Crooked lampshade, there was a curtain rod that was busted. My drain in my shower did not drain very well. It definitely cut my shower short. So as Wyndham owners, when you're paying several hundred dollars in maintenance fee every single month, especially with it being converted over Canadian dollars, you want your units to be top tier and nothing broken or nothing wrong with them. Especially prior to checking in, they do go through the units and look at them um, to make sure everything's working. So it's just a little more attention to detail that you definitely hope as owners that they can um, try and work on later on down the road. The other negatives that we found out with regards to all the units in general was the TV was very blurry and grainy. Uh, the internet was very slow. Um, so when you're trying to watch the playoff hockey, you definitely are not going to be watching it in HD quality, but at least you get to tune into the game itself. Other than that, we had a blast of a time there. Uh, be sure to check into my next video at Club Wyndham Bentley Brook in Hancock, Massachusetts in September. And also like and subscribe this video, comment down below with any other Wyndham resort you would like for me to cover at some point in time. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next videos.